everyone, Jasmine. Um, my friend is also downstairs. Karishma, do you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yikes. Okay. No, um, my friend's also downstairs. They don't have a printout, but you should all go take a look at it. Um, it is blue on gray, and it depicts a hand, a tiara, a number of other things inserted in the middle. Um, and just kind of as a warning, I'm going to talk briefly about black trans death. I'll probably get emotional. Um, so yeah, my print, I'm going to tell the story of the person that it's about and not so much the story of the print, but I talk lots in my art statement about the visual imagery and about the visual culture, so you should go check it out. But this is um, a print about a lot of things. So I, hmm, I did not think this through. <laughs> I was born on November 28, 1998, um, which is a day that um, a trans woman named Rita Hester was lost to violence in Massachusetts. And if you Google Rita Hester's name, most of the things that will come up are about her death. Um, this is sort of a phenomenon that we see a lot around the loss of you know, trans women in this country. Nobody writes about them, nobody's interested in all the amazing work that they're doing until they're lost, usually tragically to violence. Um, Rita Hester's death is sort of the origin story, is the political event that caused the first uh, Trans Day of Remembrance, which is an annual event that happens in November to honor the trans people who we've lost. Um, and I remember when I was, you know, kind of researching, I sort of work in queer, you know, support work, and I often throw events for Trans Day of Remembrance, and I realized that I didn't really know the story of it. And so I, I, I looked into it, and what I found, of course, was that Rita Hester died the very night that I was born, about an hour and a half before, um, about a coast away from Massachusetts to here. I was born in Berkeley, California. Um, and I found that Rita was often found dancing on tabletops in punk bars, which is something that I grew up doing. Um, Rita loved uh, reptiles. She had a snake. I grew up with a pet lizard. That felt whatever. Um, <laughs> You know, she was this vibrant, loud person. Um, she was also a Sagittarius like I am. Um, and, you know, I found myself really finding it difficult to even discover details about her life. So much of what I could find was about the night of her, of her death, about her loss. And, you know, I wanted more details. I wanted to know, you know, who was she friends with? You know, what kind of pub music did she listen to? You know, what was her favorite piece of jewelry? Um, what kind of socks did she wear? And I, I couldn't. It was hard enough for me to find out that she was a Sagittarius. I want to know the rest of her chart. Um, and so, you know, I, I, I began thinking a lot, as I often do, about how, you know, a focus on death turns our deaths into spectacle, and a focus on death reduces our life. And I wanted to talk about, about work. I wanted to talk about rework, and I wanted to talk about embodiment. And I'll let you take a look at the print. But, um, my print has to do with, with the undying life of Rita Hester and sort of honoring that and carrying it with me every day. Okay, thank you.